Hey boy. You made it. Nah, I'm just a figment of your imagination at this point, mate. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Okay. This way. Okay, mate. You lead the way. And I gotta eat. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Fucking Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Just a stranger walking in. Hi. Who the fuck's that? <laughs> Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. What the fuck? But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! Wow. When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Uh, this is awkward. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. That's a nice dress, that mate. I'm not gonna lie, you look good. What the visit he died for? Let me go in and speak to her, at least. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. It's okay. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. He's made up his mind. There's always a way of some sort. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Oh. I wish you well. It, there's got there's gotta be something you can There's gotta be something, you know, that can maybe help her. I mean why not find the one who casts a spell? Tie them down. That boy will fray my last nerve. You should stop Excuse me, me Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. 
I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry. Surely there's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. Hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. The fact that you are that willing to give up on someone is... ridiculous. There are many ways to fix things, even those things that seem impossible. There's always a way. And there's always a way to find it. We can. At least so we can say we tried. That's all I can say. Why will he not listen to me? Cause he's She's a... my sister. Cause he's a dickhead, that's why mate, you should know this. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He's trying to do the right thing. He, he was way out of line. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Okay. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Okay, let's go. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. There must be a way... Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. We just need to find the person who did it. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead also. Dare to fucking run away. <laughs> Oh, really? Confringo! Confringo! Oh! Aki! 
shield. Incendio. You've made your last mistake. Well, let's go then. What do you think? You Incendio. Ah. 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 more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. There's really nothing they can do. We will defeat them. I've chosen my destiny already of what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna be in the end of this. Revelio. I know where I'll go. I know what I'll be. I've chosen it. I've made my decision. And what type end did I want? I had an idea for what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. And how far I'll go? Blue for I. Okay. What is he doing? Why has he gone so far? I'm trying. How did he get that far out? I'm... I'm trying to get to him. You ought to cut back on pudding. I didn't realize how fucking far away he was. How fucking quick was he running? I confess. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. I gathered. We need to go. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Yeah. They seem to have set up camp here Rebellion. for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Yeah. I've heard goblin diggers are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. 
Because they're fucking useless. What is this? I mean, it's pretty obvious it's over here. Underground. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Hmm. Revelio. Sebastian. Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. You're not wrong. Also. Right. Well, how are we going to get over there? Uh. Okay, I guess I have to blow it away. Good finger. Good pulse. Accio. Incendio. What the hell? Levioso. Incendio. Reparo. Do I not have anything that will help? Unless. No, that won't work. So, what about this? Is hard. Incendio, Levioso. How am I supposed to get rid of this? Revelio. Levioso. Wait, um. Accio. Confringo. Capulso. There's got to be a fucking way around. Oh, I can't use my wand. Search Revelio. For... Search for. Confringo. Capulso. How do I even get rid of that? Is there anything around here? Hmm. This is quite difficult. This is really confusing the hell out of me. Is there a way to... Okay, this is really confusing. Is there a spell? There's nothing I can really... I've seen everything. There's really nothing what's working here. Have you got a good idea? So clues. It's pretty obvious what the clue is. I've got to get through that, but I don't know how the hell to get that down. Confringo! Compulsor! Accio! Incendio! Let me answer. Repairer. Lumos. This is really weird. I've tried everything, haven't I? Wait. Except from that. Oh shit, what did I... I don't know if this will work, but hopefully it'll work. It's the last one I have. Expelliarmus! What the hell? How am I supposed to break that? Not sure what I did to deserve that. Deserve what? Ugh. Rebellion. Is there a way to expel the arms? Confringo. 
Okay. Incendio. Levioso. Repair him. It's not fixing anything. Is it over here? This well one? looks familiar. <laughs> Revelio. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Oh, that's me trying to blow a place down. All I had to do was go outside. Go figure. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. We should probably tell them. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. The ball, sir. Really? Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me there are Revelio bigger. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. Oh, there's an evil some of our... Okay. A right. journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Attacking I me, mean, what the hell? Incendio! Shit. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to go? Not sure what I did to deserve that. Well, calm down, will Rebellion. you? Rebellion! Oh. <laughs> Incendio! Lumos. Oh. oh. Scared of the light. Well, that helps, I guess. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A Rebellion. Danger. Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. 
I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I don't know if you I'm tempted to hold my breath. Let's go. This has turned into something interesting. And I know I've been recording longer than an hour at this point. But I'm enjoying it. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Bet yeah, it's a bit of gear over here. Yep, and I can't have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get rid of something. As usual. Pop out. Slavio. Oh, oh so. no, that's not it. Yeah, now we'll get rid of that. And then we shall see what this is. It's a fucking hat. It's a... Revelio. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have to... Let's check this hat out. Oh, no way, the other way. Oh, okay. Uh, just get rid of that at that point. Uh, right, let's have a look. Another cloak. Pointless. I'm gonna sell them anyways. Revelio! What is this? Anything helpful in the note? Oh, really? There's a lot of scribbles in that. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts. You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. So, you are going to do what exactly? There is a doorway here. Defeat against the top. Hmm. Okay.
think I've got a lot of stuff I need to sell at this what point. What did you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for 30 years. And you thought it would be clever to transfigure her into... into a goblet and leave her in the Great Hall after a feast? I hear the elves have had to transfigure every goblet in the castle looking for her. I hope you're jolly well proud. <laughs> oh dear. And that was a smart idea for what reason? I mean, in the nicest way. Who let these kids be be doing this? Right, let's go fast travel. Sell some of this gear because I've got too much gear at this point. Which I know I'm not going to use, so I'll just sell it. And then I can make more money. And with more money, we have more things to buy. I want to buy a butterbeer. It's me, here I come. Okay, that was a bit laggy. Laggericious. Lagger delicious. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you? Gathered, right. I'm going to put the best gear on I basically have at this point. That is that as well. Put that one on. Okay. These can be sold. All them are getting sold. And all these hats are getting sold. Scarves. What's the best one? I mean, that one looks better with what I've got on. 39. How's that look? Nah, we'll keep that. I'll be happy with that. I'll just sell the rest off. Spe especially that. Okay. Tops. What tops have we got? That's going. All that's going. These jackets. I have... 39. 42. Okay. All I need to do is change the appearance to go to this, and then we are laughing. And I can just sell the rest. Let's go. I'm all geared up. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Yeah, you've said. Um, that's a nice cape. I might keep that. Yep. 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 And yes. And yes. And yes. And yes. And yes. And yes. Just sell it. And sell that. Okay, I've got like three grand. Get in there. I can learn the potions. Maybe useful. But right now, I don't want to buy potions. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Aye. What can I buy what may be useful to me? Is, uh... Maybe I should go get my hair cut actually now. Because, believe it or not, my hair is not the way it used to be anymore. Yep, I've had a haircut, guys. My hair's been cut. And I will show you in the game exactly how much I've cut. Where is it? Oh, it's pretty much straight ahead at this point. Where am I? Where are my points towards? Let's go. I think it's up here. Maybe around here. Parkour. 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 Okay, at this point, I'll just get the map out again. Because... Oh, for... I think it's down here, isn't it? It's behind here. I don't want to go into the candy store. Which I haven't been in. Where the fuck am I? Am I completely lost or just confused? Right, there we go. Oh, it's up there. That explains. Hairdressers. Come on in! Come on in! Don't be shy! Okay, 
So, I still do have long hair. Well, it's pretty much... In reality, my hair was like down to... Well, the back bit was way, way past that. And my fringe was like past my chest. Right now, it's about maybe half of that length. It's still longish. Ooh. No. Kinda. But it's a little, little shorter than that. What's the... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda close to that. Yeah, I know, I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. It's a little like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my hair's a little like that. But it's a bit longer at the back, it's like, um, maybe here. Oh, fuck, this is hard. Um, I mean, I have a bun, but not as much. This is harder than I thought. Um, no. Nice little quifter. Nope. Oh, man. I kind of like that. I think that's like me. That suits my character. But I... But I look like a girl at this point. Oh, gee, don't want to screw it. Gotta be realistic in the get. Wait, hang on. There you go. That's more like my length right now. That's exactly my length. There, that fringe. Exactly there. That is... Yep. A little bit longer on the back, about there. Much longer. But it's it's weird how I've styled it. Okay. You can stop by any time. Oh shit! I didn't do it properly. What the hell was it? Is that it? Nope. Go down. Yep, that's it. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Yes. Slurping away. Right, I'm happy with that. Now it looks a bit more like me again. Apart from the beard, I have a People bit of a beard. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I mean, you got you got to stroke every cat you see. For some reason, you, you just got to. 